Today I'd like to show you how to use Blackboard Connect to send a message to a, either a group of people or individual contacts using banners and signatures. I'm going to focus today on the process used uh, to insert a banner. Uh, the banner and the signature are both considered um, images. And so in order to insert images into Blackboard Connect uh, email messages, you have to um, actually insert the, them as an image from a website. And I'm going to show you all of those steps now. So the first thing you want to do is log into your Blackboard Connect uh, account. Do that now. You sign in. Okay, so I have my Blackboard Connect uh, dashboard up. The second thing I'm going to do before uh, I create my message is I'm going to open another tab uh, in Internet Explorer. One thing to note uh, when you use Blackboard Connect, um, you must use Internet Explorer. Please don't use Chrome or Firefox. Uh, because that does um, affect uh, the usability and it also uh, will not allow you to insert banners or signatures. So I'm going to open another tab and I'm going to browse to the site that we're going to be using um, to get our images and banners and uh, signatures. That account uh, or website is photobucket.com. I'm going to go to photobucket www.photobucket.com. I open that site. In the email that I sent you, um, I also sent you a Trinity Prep uh, Photo Bucket account that we can share. Uh, so once you upload your banners and signatures or any other images, uh, you really only have to do it one time and then just come back here to your photo bucket and copy and paste them into uh, the message at Blackboard Connect. Okay, so you can see that I'm logged in and I'm looking for the green upload button. I'm going to click that once. And then there's another button here that says select photos and videos that you want to upload. I have the Headmaster banner uh, right here on my desktop. Uh, you will have all of your banners and uh, or other images stored on the network and uh, not necessarily on your desktop. Uh, but I did copy this out to make it easy for you to see. So I'm going to select the Headmaster banner, choose Open. Okay, it's going to upload to Photo Bucket. Now I have it here and I won't have to do that again. Uh, I won't have to do any more uploading with that banner. Choose the blue View Album to see your banner. Okay. I actually have two of them there because I've done this uh, uh, as an example one uh, time before. So if you choose uh, your banner just by putting your mouse over it, by hovering over it, you'll see uh, some links that uh, come up. And you're actually looking at the one that says direct link, which is the second one down here. You're going to mouse over that, left click once, and you'll notice that it says copied. Uh, that it basically just did a copy to the clipboard. So now I actually have my Headmaster banner copied. And I'm ready to come over to Blackboard Connect to create uh, my message. So you're going to click send a message and then you're going to click the outreach button. When this comes up, you can put a title here. Uh, it can be anything you want. This uh, the recipient or a group of recipients will not see the title information that it is for you. I'm going to put uh, testing banners. I'm going to click two so I can pick my recipients that I want to send to. When that loads, you'll see um, a list of groups uh, or grades that I can send to, send messages to. Uh, and you'll notice up here it says select by contacts. I'm going to choose this drop down and change this to direct contact so that I can just send one 
uh, send a message to one recipient, which will be myself. So if I click direct contacts, I see this message saying send the message to. I'm going to put in my email address. And I could put in, you know, uh, others if I wanted to send to four or five people. Okay, once you type the address, click in the box, you'll see um, my name appear there. Now, if I wanted to add more, I could just type in another address. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and choose done. Scroll down just a little so I can see my delivery mode. You'll notice that there's a number one here now over the mail, and that's because it's just to one recipient. Uh, I'm going to choose when to send it. It's going to be now. Now, you need to remember to hover over the email icon and click it once. And when you do that, then you can, this is the area where you can add your content. Uh, if you already have a letter that's prepared, uh, maybe in a Word document, you can copy and paste uh, from, from it. Uh, but the first thing I want to show you here is I'm going to do from. And I'm going to pick myself. I'm going to add everybody's email address into this down, drop down box uh, so that when you log in, you'll be able to pick your own name if you want the message to appear from you rather than from Trinity Prep. Okay, I'm going to put a subject in, testing. Enters. Now I'm going to come in here in this part of the uh, box and I'm going to click inside it and then I'm going to choose this insert image icon. When I click that, it's going to ask uh, for the image source. And what the system is looking for is actually a URL. Uh, and I've already copied it uh, from PhotoBucket. So at this point, all I have to do is paste it. Click in the box, right click, choose paste. You'll see it uh, pop in there. And then you're going to come here and choose OK. Now, the security warning in Internet Explorer says, do you want uh, to only see uh, content uh, that, that we know is absolutely safe. Uh, the banner is not going to harm your computer, so it is very safe for you to choose. Uh, it says, do you want to view only web page content that was delivered securely? You're going to say no if you see that message. Okay, when you say no, then it's going to uh, insert the banner in for you into your message. From that point, you can center it. Um, and like I said, copy and paste your uh, message in or type your message. Okay. Scroll down, I can left justify. And from this point, I can type in my message. This is a test. At the bottom of, of the um, message, if you want to put a signature in there, you would do the same thing. You would uh, upload the signature to PhotoBucket copy it and paste it in the same way we just did using the banner. And that is how you put in uh, banners and uh, signatures. Scroll down and you'll see when to send it. I'm going to send it now. I'm going to choose next. And this is just a, another uh, area where you can review your message if you want to. I could click here and read my message. I could click here and edit the message if I wanted to change it, uh, but I'm just going to click send. Actually, if I click edit, you would be able to see uh, this screen once again. It just brings you back. Right, so next, and send. Okay, you'll see in the status right here, This uh, it shows you your outbox. And it says that one message is scheduled to go. Uh, it's called testing banners and uh, if you refresh the screen by pressing F5 you'll notice that it, now it says sending once it's sent there'll be nothing in my outbox okay sometimes it takes a second for it to go but it will go the advantage to using um, blackboard connect uh, over uh, gmail or outlook is that uh, with Outlook, you have a limitation of only being able to send 100 messages at a time. Uh, with this system, there is no limit, and you only have to send the message one time uh, to a group of users. And then there's also reporting features to ensure that uh, 
the message was sent to all of the recipients that you can review. So it's very handy. Okay, no record to display there. Uh, if I look in my sent items, you can see right here uh, that it's completed. Um, and I can see in my email that I did receive the message. Um, let me open up my Gmail and we can look at it. Okay, so if I see this right here, it says testing banners. Okay, I'm going to, in Gmail, I have to choose display images below because by default it will, uh, Gmail will um, block some of that stuff. I'm going to choose no again here. And there's my message. In the, in the content and when I open it up there it is um, and that is how you use Blackboard Connect to send uh, messages to groups of users and that is also how you insert banners and signatures thank you